Hi, uh, welcome back in. Well, carpets, bugs come along, we go, this is beautiful. I'll lay my eggs in this. Well, nasty, nasty. We're gonna be talking with Frank Oprio about what you can do about this. So don't go anywhere. Franco, we're talking about bugs. They love our carpets because they're there. They're nice little eggs in there, mm -hmm. and a nice little breeding ground. And how do we get rid of them, or should we get rid of them? Should you get rid of them? I'd say probably you should get rid of them. <laughs> well, I don't think environmentally people out there go, "Oh, you're killing bugs." <laughs> well, the thing is that you can be uh, uh, all environmental and say that yeah, we should be killing things, and that's great, yeah. but. At the end of the day, do you really want to be getting bitten? No. No, no. Definitely you know, you have fleas in your carpet. Yeah, yeah. It's not really uh, the greatest thing to invite your guests around and uh, have, have them scratching away. Thinking, mm, do <laughs> we really want to be here? Don't worry about it. <laughs> 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 that's it, exactly. Uh, no, no, that's not being environmental, though. No, oh, no, true. Yeah. No. So, I mean, you know, all, all jokes aside, it, it is a serious problem mm. um, because you can have these things hopping around in your carpet and you really don't want them to be in there. I mean, uh, these days a lot of people do have pets um, yes. and there is no way that you can never, ever have your uh, dog completely free of, of, uh, of fleas and that sort of thing. Yeah. Okay, all it takes is taking the dog out for a walk and going through the long spot and these fleas will be quite... Happy. opportunist and yep. get on there and all of a sudden you've got them in your home and you don't even know it uh, yeah. until they actually become a problem. Your dog starts scratching and then next thing you know, you start scratching. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, it's, um, yeah, you, you'll have your, your, your dogs these days that, yeah. uh, that are very well taken care of, but sometimes that problem does arise. Yeah. Okay, um, it's one of the reasons why when uh, tenants shift out of a home that uh, they're allowed to have pets in there, they have to do a, a pest control treatment. Because right. a lot of times the, the, the problem's not immediately apparent. They'll move out and there'll be absolutely no evidence of fleas. They haven't been scratching, the dog's been fine and the rest of it. Um, and the, the place is vacant for a, couple of, for a couple of weeks or whatever, somebody mm. walks through and all of a sudden they're scratching and they're mm. getting bitten because the vibration of the person walking through the house is working the dormant eggs lying in the carpet and they suddenly spontaneously hatch and you're wearing them. Wow. Yes. No. I have been told it might be a myth, but once they say once you get fleas in your carpet, they are a nightmare to get rid of. Um, look, if you're trying to get rid of them on your own, absolutely yeah. yes. So the little the yeah. little anti flea powder spray I get or powder I get from uh, my local supermarket, and I sprinkle it over and give it a vacuum. That's probably not going to work. <laughs> okay. Now, the, the problem, as I said, was it's the eggs. It's not so much yeah. the fleas themselves as the eggs that right. leave behind. So people yeah. are familiar with lice. Okay, mm. you can get lice, you can pick the lice out, but then you've got those eggs stuck to the strands of your hair and you yes. need a special treatment to break that down. Right. Okay, now we can't really do that in the carpet cleaning side of things, mm. um, but what we can do is doing a hot water extraction clean. Yep. That will get rid of the live ones, but then we still got to deal with the eggs. So once again, it's a case of getting a pest control expert in right. to treat those carpets. Okay. Okay. Then, if anything does hatch after that, you won't know about it because it'll knock them flat. Okay? Really. And then you break that cycle. Once you've broken the cycle, you're fine. You, you'll be fully free again, and right. your, your dog or cat will be happy again. <laughs> okay. Until they once again walk through the wrong oh, spot okay. and pick up another couple of fleas from somewhere else and, and reintroduce them into the home. So it's like a two-step process. You get you guys in, fresh air, carpet cleaning in, and you do this hot water treatment yes. that will get rid of all the live ones then your pest control guy comes in treats it so that when the little eggies decide yes. they're going to hatch they they get knocked on the head too exactly and it has okay. to be done in that order okay right because uh, if you did a pest control first and yes. then i cleaned after it you wash it all off you wash it all off and you actually completely negate the whole whole idea so even people once again people leaving a, a rental property mm. we do the carpets yes okay and then a pest control person will come in and uh, and do the, the, the final treatment on it. Wow. Yeah. Oh, so they are a bit of a bit of a nuisance to try and get rid of. But they if, are. If you don't yeah. know what you're doing. Yeah, and, and look, you can try and take shortcuts, but at the end of the day, you end up spending more money and, and, and mm. yeah, the aggravation in the meantime of being bitten. It's yeah, fun. absolutely, yeah. absolutely. You know, when, it's interesting because we hear pest control and I suppose it evokes, you know, those images of chemicals and someone spraying it in the... How do they manage to treat your carpets without damaging them? Or is that when, after a certain period of time, fresh air come back in and, and clean the residual off? 
What no, happens? it really is better to leave that residual there for as long as possible. So right. it can be three months before those, those fleas decide to hatch again. Oh, really? Okay, so that residual is there to take care of them. Yeah. Now, the chemicals they use these days, they're meant to be relatively harmless to human health. Mm. Okay, they don't do a lot for insects. No. But they're not meant to harm us. Okay. okay? Now, notice I said not meant. <laughs> they might change their mind a couple of years down the track. Yeah. But they are uh, generally something that's not going to affect our health. Mm. Otherwise, there'd be no point in doing it. You know, it'd be a case of like, well, if you really want to get rid of them, wrap up your carpets and replace. Yeah. Uh, but that is the generally accepted method of trying to get rid of them. I mean, it's the same as doing a pest control around the house for, for cockroaches or anything else. Mm. You, know, you have to have some sort of compromise there has to yeah. be done to be able to get rid of the issue. Yeah. So the carpet cleaner actually comes to your place and I've experienced this with fleas in a rental. Don't you worry, mm -hmm. my machine, we do this and we do that, they'll all be gone. Yep. Not the right answer. Yeah, the fleas, the live ones will be gone, the eggs yeah. won't. The eggs won't. So the, so the carpet cleaner does come around and start saying that and doesn't say about it. Give Franco a call. Yeah. By the way, the other uh, little yeah. thing with that is I know there's a lot of guys around that are saying they will do pest control as well. If they are not a licensed pest controller, they're not allowed to apply any insecticide, even if it's just a, yeah, a, a shop bought one out of the you know, yeah. local supermarket. We are not allowed to do anything like that. Because remember, we're, we're using a, a pesticide. Yes. If you use the wrong one, then you know, you will be in trouble, yeah. okay, in, well, as far as your health goes, and a, and a yeah. person deploying it will be in trouble as well, because the health department will come down quite heavily on that. Yeah, I do know that with pest control, they've got to be licensed, yeah. get the license, exactly what you say, you always say, look, let me check all your credentials yes. when you're a carpet cleaner, so make sure, you know, you didn't just get make redundant and get a machine out the paper and thought you could... Uh, yeah. No, but there are a lot of people that claim they can do that, but no. legally they can't. No, yeah. I do know the same with pest control. You go to see the pest control license number and That's right. yeah. everything else. So yeah, it's a pretty tricky thing. Someone who has got that going on or suspicious that they might have a few fleas bouncing around the house or even on the bed, uh, which is not nice. <laughs> What's the best way of contacting yourself, Franco, to get that taken care of? And what's, what's the steps? How fast can, can it be taken care of? Um, well, it really depends on how booked up we are at the time. Yes. Um, as we come into the warm months, it does, uh, the lead times do tend to drag out a little bit longer. But generally mm. speaking, we can get there within, uh, within a couple of days, depending yeah. on how big the job is. Uh, but just give us a call, 0418 914 097, or the email address is info at facc.com.au. Uh, these days we've also got the, uh, the Facebook page and I've put a, a little bit in there as well that you can, if you want to, uh, to get a, a quote or an idea on something, you Fantastic. can actually reach me through that as well. Yeah. So whichever medium you like, I'm more than happy to respond to all of them. And I guess the only other question is, we talked about hot water going on carpet yep. and I know your attitude to water and carpet, very little. How dry are the carpets after you've done a hot water trim? Does it take a little bit longer well, for Well, hot this? water is it's just hot water extraction, which is more commonly known as steam cleaning. So it's a oh, normal right, process. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, but I mean, the water we're using is, is pretty warm. <laughs> <laughs> and so yeah. you don't want to be touching your hoses in, during the process. Let's put no. it that way. Yeah, and the carpets little. are pretty dry after you've finished that they trip. They will be damp, they? okay. Yeah. Now, um, people always ask me what dry time is, and all I say is, I don't know. Mm. Uh, the reason being that uh, you have a polypropylene carpet, which is completely non-absorbent to water, or is 0.001% absorbency. It's the only uh, fibre that will float. That will dry very quickly. Okay. Wool, which has a 32% absorbency, yes. will take a long time to dry out because wool will absorb into the fibre and then you've got to wait for that to exude back out of the fibre. Yeah. And the problem with wool is that you can touch it and it'll feel touch dry, but it's, technically it's still saturated. Yeah. So that can take 24 hours, and if it's a really horrible, wet, rainy, cold and miserable, 48 hours even in some cases when yeah. there's no ventilation. Right. So, you know, the, the general rule of thumb is normally about five to six hours, uh, Beautiful. but it, it does vary quite considerably. Okay. Franco, once again, terrific talking to you. No worries, thank you.